Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So going through my requests and another one of my requests, I get a lot, I mentioned this a couple of videos back, is the faux letter, leather, <laughs> letter, leather, bleh. and I've been asked again to make an updated video of it. Um, so I'm going to. So all I'm, I have this here because my camera, because the white is going to go out. This is just a, a regular little notebook with a uh, cover. Um, and I'm going to cover this with faux leather. This is your normal brown paper bag that you get from the grocery store. So this is a fantastic recycle, reuse kind of gig. Uh, you know, you can do this, use this on your uh, composition books, on any notebook, uh, if you make your own art journals, on paintings. I've done it on paintings. I'm going to link uh, down below or somewhere in this video, my other, I have two or three other videos of me making the faux leather. So you can go check those out too uh, and see different ways you can do it. You can make it in a canvas, you can make it in your art journal, you can make it on a page, you can make it on a table, you can make it on any way you want. Easy peasy. Okay, so here's what I have. I just cut this in, um, you know, a uh, piece that I can handle a little bit. And all I did was... Um, what did I do first? I sprayed water on. So I have some water. Let me show you. Get my pump thing here ready. And I'm going to squirt it with water on this side. And I'm just using one of these. It's like a spray, uh, what's it called? Fabric paint cannon. But just use your water bottle or even, you can even use a, a wet paper towel. I mean, a wet uh, paper a paper, not paper, paint brush. Hello, Kelly. Got a lot going on in this head. Spray it, wet it, wet both sides, and then wrinkle it all up like this. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Leave it dry. So I have one over here. It's not all the way dry, but it's going to have that wrinkle. You want to leave it sit for about 15 minutes. And then all you do is unwind it. And look at that delicious texture. Look at the texture. Look at the texture. It looks like it could be leather right there. Okay. So then we have this. And I'm going to lay it down. Now, what I like to do is I like to tear it into pieces. Okay. And you see I'm just tearing it. And it's more for easier handling. But I like the look. Because, you know, no leather is um, perfect. All right, now. Let me find my decompose. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, you can use white school glue, put a little water in it just to make it flow a little better. Uh, I'm just going to use decoupage. You can use Mod Podge. You can use white school glue. You can use just, uh, not just, so, uh, oh, what's it called? Matte medium, gel medium, whatever you have. And I'm going to take my brush. And I'm going to go in and I'm just going to put some glue down. I'm going to do it part by part. So I'm not going to stick all this glue down in um, all over the whole thing because it'll just start drying and then it becomes a mess. Then I get upset. It's drying too fast, you know. So I'm just going to take a piece. And I'm not going to worry about the edges too much because I can trim that off once it's all dry. But I'm going to push it down on the glue. And you can see it still holds that delicious texture. Let me move in just a little bit more. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm going to do it again over here. Just to show you. And you take another piece. And, you know, you could lay it that way, whatever you want. But you want to overlap it. Okay. And then the last thing I'm going to show you is this little bit up here which I did not line up. So I'm just gonna put some glue here and you wanna throw that glue over a little bit just so uh, it stays down. That's why you wanna make sure it's matte, okay? And then I'll take another little piece, just rip a little piece that you know will fit, no big deal, and lay it down just like that. And when you do that, then just take a little bit more of your glue because you want it to sit on there and leave it go and dry. And when I come back, I will have the rest of this page done. 
Okay, so as you can see, I glued the rest of it down. Still a little wet. Um, this is what I love. So when you overlap, you get this delicious line, like these lines through here, and it just really makes it look um, like leather already, but it's not. It's we, We're still going to put some paint and make it. So you can see I cut off. I had some, you know, extra on the outside. I cut it off, and I saved this part to show you. So you open it up. And you look, and I turn it this way so I can um, see where I'm cutting. It's kind of hard for you guys to see, but it's getting blurry because the white. And I'm just going to cut that off like this. Like that. And you cut it till you, you know, you get it where uh, it's all even. All right. Okay. You get the idea. And then comes the fun part. So, you know, you guys can, my gosh, leather can be faux leather, leather, whatever, can be so many different colors. It can be blues, it can be greens. So you really can take any color that you have or that you want or you're trying to match or if you're making it for somebody, you get my drift and you can make it um, into that color. But what I'm going to do is stick to, you know, basically the uh, browns for this. So I got right here, I just have some light red oxide. And you know, sometimes it has different, uh, like it's like a brown red and, and you'll see when I put it on, just some regular brown, um, brown paint here and my red oxide. I have a little bit of yellow ochre. Um, we'll see if we're going to use that. And I have some terracotta, which is an orange. So I don't know exactly uh, what I'm going to do, but um, or what I'm going to use, but first I'm going to use some of this, uh, just a regular brown. It's called um, it's melted chocolate, but of course use whatever brown you have. Um, if you want to keep it like this, I've done it where I've kept it like this and not put anything on it because I think it looks dang great like this. Um, you can then seal over it if you want with a gloss or a finishing spray, a um, you know, like a triple thick or uh, you know, something like that, or a glossy Mod Podge, glossy uh, collage podge, whatever you have, and you can gloss it, and it'll look beautiful as that. You can also go ahead and um, decorate it. Use some uh, turquoise or beads or, you know, whatever you want. Really just make it your own. So what I'm going to do, enough with the talking. All right. I have my brown, and I don't know. Okay. I'm going to take the same brush I use. I'm just going to rinse out that glue and dab a little bit of the water off. Not too much because I want it pretty watery. I'm going to take some on my brush. And this is still damp. Remember, this does not have to be... You can leave it dry all the way if you want, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go in a little bit more water. I'm going to go in and I'm going to go on all these little crevices where all, they, all the paper joined together. It joined together. All right. I mean, these are these are so pretty when they're done. No matter. I mean, think about doing an ATC card with this. You know what I mean? You can't think of a background, or you're kind of stuck. Use this on an ATC card. The same thing. You can make a bunch of them. Art journal page. I mean, this is a really great uh, beginning. All right. So you can say I did that. Now I'm going to take my water, just a little bit. And I'm just going to squirt just a little bit, not too much. And then I'm going to take my paper towel or whatever you're using, and I'm just going to blot it up. And I'll show you. I mean, this is just so easy and so much fun. Move this out of the way for a minute. See how I'm just blotting it up? You see how the rest, now my hand made it, uh, there we go. Oh, you know why? Because autofocus is on and it's making me crazy. I don't want it to focus. Okay, so you see how already that just grabbed that delicious color? Now, here's where you could play. Do you want it a little bit darker? You could do a darker brown or add a little black in the color that you're using. Um, I'm going all for it on this color because I really like this. And then I probably, I might add a little bit of this. We, we shall see. So you want, you know, you want your brush fairly uh, wet. And I still have water on it. I don't want to push down too far, too much, but I want 
that brown to pick up those um, crinkles that we got, right? All the wrinkles, crinkles, whatever you call them. And you see, I'm just dragging that. You can see how it picks up that deliciousness. A little bit more, a little bit more water. Because that just helps it spread and it's not, you want it darker, by all means, you do your own, your own thing. And what starts to happen, you'll see it just gets gets into that delicious crevices and on top. And that's what you want. And you don't have to cover everything because you want that variation. Now, like right here, I can see is a little dark. I mean, I might not want it that dark. And if you don't, just go in with a little bit of water and just spread it around. Spread the love. Spread the love. Okay, now I'm just going to shut this because, you know, I'll end up spilling it. All right. And then I'm just going to take my, you know, my art rag, my paper towel, whatever you, whatever you use. And I'm going to go in and I'm just going to dab up. Not in the same place too many times. And you're going to see the paper bag is going to absorb that water, that paint. But you get that delicious... Uh, I just love this like this. And look at that. We have the faux leather look. <clears throat> now you want to go back in and you want to uh, put in, let me show you. Look at that. Now imagine once it's glossy and once it's, once it's all the way dry. Let me start drying it just for a minute. And then uh, we'll see how we go. It's one of my favorite things to do. Now, if you get a part that maybe you don't like this part. Now, see, I love the irregularity because um, it's, you know, that's what, if you really look at leather, that's what you're getting. But you can always go over it, you know, with a little darker, a little lighter, whatever you want, just to take it out. I don't really think I'm going to add anything to this. I think I'm completely happy with this. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let me show you. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I can't stand it. I hope that it's coming across on the on the video as beautiful as it is. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use spray, but you definitely can use a, uh, you know, brush on clear coat. This is the Deco Art Triple Thick Brilliant Gloss Grip Glaze. Don't spray it in your house or whatever. Go outside and do it. Um, I'm just doing it real quick down here. I'm down here by myself. Ain't nobody down here with me. So I'm just gonna do this. Oh, I love it. And then I will be back when it's dry to show you. Okay, it's dry. Look how cool that looks. Oh my gosh. I wish my lighting was better right now. Oh, it is just so awesome. And when you gloss it, do you see how it gives it that nice, it, it just looks like leather. Oh, it's like faux leather. I just love it, love it, love it. Wish my lights was better. Wish my lighting was better. All right, so let me know if you guys do this. Please tag me on uh, Facebook, uh, Google, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter. I'm everywhere. All my info is down below. But please tag me and uh, if you do this and let me know. Um, like I said, this would be so fun to do in different colors. Uh, you do the same thing except you use different colors. If you want to see me do it in other colors, if you... Uh, you know, if you want to, just let me know down below and I will be glad to do it in another color. But I am in love with this faux leather recycled and reused. And how, how can you go wrong? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Let me have a thumbs up if you guys like this and any requests, anything that you guys want to see, as always, let me know. I'm trying to go through my list. I keep writing them down, but 
life takes over and I don't get a minute to do it, but uh, so I'm starting again. So there you go. So excited. And don't forget to check out the videos uh, down below as well um, for the other videos that I did with the faux leather. You know, um, maybe you'll find, uh, I think I did a purple uh, leather once in, uh, in another video. So, you know, go check those out too. Share, please. And if you found me and you want to subscribe, just hit the subscribe button down below. That makes me so very happy. And I love you guys. And as always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And um, I love you guys. Bye.